through uh, Czechoslovakia, which was Czechia, which became later Czechia and Slovakia, and into Poland. Yes. And then into Hungary, and then into Romania. My my brother had told me that was the road, the most beautiful road. Was Richard Wilkie. The, Richard Wilkie at the University of Amherst had visited mm -hmm. that part of the country and had uh, recommended I take the road from Siget all the way over to uh, Sushiava and to uh, Moldova in, 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 mm -hmm. in the, up on the up and up and down the mountains. Beautiful, the most beautiful drive in the world. On Gutinul. Yeah. Yeah, was that Gutinul, <laughs> the mountain of Gutinul. So we were uh, serpentine. Well, we got to Romania, but nobody could understand us, and we couldn't understand them. And then we found you, and I hired you to for UCLA translation. Translation to become the translator. As a professor really of English. I was a professor of English languages mm -hmm. at the school number two and four in Siget. And we went and we, I asked to be free so I can go, uh, go and show you the monasteries. And show us around the country because we couldn't understand Romania. And nobody spoke English, almost nobody except you. And nobody could explain what was going on. So you were the ideal person. And then we, uh, you had a visa for Paris. You were trying, had been trying to get out of the country and got caught. Later you had a visa to leave after Ceausescu was dead, and uh, been killed in 80, December, Christmas 89. And uh, so we, uh, In, in we got we we decided to take you. You could easily go to Hungary because of your Hungarian, Hungary, Hungary had owned the part ethnic of, background, of where, of where, ethnic background of where you live, and uh, and so you guided us around Hungary, and then we went to we had to get to get you to Munich where you would fly to Paris and on to um, Bordeaux where family had that had met you agreed to, when they visited your museum, your family museum in, uh, in, in uh, Seagat. Yes. Uh, so you, we, we, the problem was getting you through to Austria where they didn't have a visa. Right. But we went right to the head of the line and I got, immediately it was brought to the head of the line and a long line, so three miles long, I think. <laughs> but we went ahead. We went right ahead to the beginning and went in to see the, immediately went in to see the, uh, uh, the consul, co consul general of of, uh, of Austria, and said we have to take or this is our interpreter. Right. He said, but she doesn't have a visa, and I said we just need a 24-hour visa to get across the country. Oh, he said, that's easy, 24 hour visa. What <laughs> the advantage of course was, the minute you got into Austria, you were in the European Union and you could go to any country you wanted and stay however you want, long you wanted. And, but we stayed there about, what, a week at least? Oh, one week, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, we went to Austria, uh, to Kobenzl. We stayed at beautiful Kobenzl. Right. We want to go back. Looking there. out over the valley and all the rivers. Yes. And, uh, and then we went to France. No, you. Then we went to uh, into Germany. Yes. And in the Germany, we stayed just a couple of nights. Oops. <laughs> at, uh, uh, in Munich. Munich. We're sickened by the Munich, what is it, beer hall? Uh, <laughs> whatever that is, where they all drink beer, get drunk and drink beer, and then smash each other in the face. Uh, myself and my partner from UCLA flew back. I had to teach, uh, so that flew back, and you were. We put you on a plane to uh, Paris. Yes. That's how everything transpired. Then I came back in the after the spring quarter at UCLA. I came back, and then mm -hmm. we went all around Europe thereafter. Right. 
And within one year, you were in Mexico, you were in the United States with a U.S. visa. <laughs> yes, beautiful, isn't it? My friends in Mexico could arrange for their friends, uh, my friends in the Mexican embassy in uh, Mexico City, of course, were able to arrange your uh, visa be issued there. And we also what was his name, Miguel Sandoval? His name was Miguel Sandoval, the consul general who helped us get multiple visas. So that's the way. Come and look at Ralph Bunch Hall. I want to be in the sun. Hi guys, this is Campbell Hall at UCLA. Campbell Hall, this is Bunch Hall, and this is Bunch Hall where I spent 20 years of my life. And Jim, how many years did you spend here, James? 1968? What year? 1968 till today. It's too dark in here. Can't stand out here. There is nothing here. I want to go and get the Campbell Hall. The what? For those who don't know, waffles are American. Uh, American type of pie you eat in the morning for breakfast. For pancakes, not hotcakes. What are you talking about? To make, to make waffles with this shape. It's beautiful. And here is beautiful um, mathematical center on your my right side. And uh, way down there, it's uh, mass and geometry and computation, computer center, way in the back where the inverted fountain is at UCLA. This is humanities, and my my building was history, Latin American center, geography. Aici este geografia pentru doamna Lavinia, la etajul 2, in Murphy Hall. In Sorita, California, forever light and spring and flowers, no snow. Dr. Wilkie, what what floor are you at? What floor is your sixth floor. Uh, on the sixth floor? What number? It's six twenty-five. It's your room Six, number. 624. 624, yes. Gaston? Gaston says, and this is where I am the mascot, 
the mascot of UCLA so that everybody knows. Let me introduce myself. Why are we wearing masks? Can you speak a few words about the Transylvania escaping Transylvanian vampirism? Can you? So it 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 consists of 120 uh, pages, and uh, Jim Wilk is gonna say a few words about it. Why you should read this book? Why you should why should people read the book? Well, it begins so beautifully. Tell me. In 1963, when I was born in Transylvania, the golden age of socialism, golden ages in quotes, yes. was in full progress in quotes. There is this geographical, there is a geographical location between Hungary and the Ukraine that is the mythical space Transylvania <laughs> and gave me the roots to want to learn about the world. It gave, Transylvania gave me the roots and brains and goals to begin to learn, investigate in my own way. And to the city of San Mari, Santo Mari, yeah. was undergoing transformations and was being forth, force, forcefully modernized and people from the villages were forced to work in huge socialistic factories. Yes. The dictator Ceausescu was trying to mobilize the farmers into, into, in, to make industry in the countryside yes. and build, build industrial things rather than just farming things, uh, which had to be sold to Russia because that was the only one who would buy them. Um, Socialistic factors uh, get, were beginning to factories the damage, factor damage the countryside. Yes. You were. I was born. You write. The middle class folks, Eugene and Magdalena, and I was the first child. And right after me came my brother Alexandru in 1965. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, I love him. Lazine, my father was born in Vetis, Satu Mari, and was a sunflower oil extractor. He was the first one to drive a motorcycle in his village. At age three, my mother Magdalena was transferred by her employer, the logging company uh, in Matamurish, to uh, Siget in the Matamurish, closer to the closer to the uh, logging company. Thus, my parents and I moved to Transylvania town of Segret, where I grew up. Alice in Wonderland, in a pr pristine region behind the mountain of Grutino. Grutino, yes. Grutino. Yes. My mother was no longer a commuter. Dad was taking her by car to Segret daily. Transylvania was an ancient forest where vampires and wolverines were lurking at the lurking at the cover of the dark and cold winter nights. Mm -hmm. I never feared the unknown as I was already accustomed. And vampire stories ever since I was a baby. All these weird myth, myth, mythological anim, animals were part of my ecosystem, so to say. I grew up fearless. <laughs> and then you go on to tell how you went through school went to went to graduate school yes and um, and then finally when we met we i was able to support your application to ucla and you got right uh, admitted right away yes when you arrived here in 1992 and we have written together for yeah. the statistical abstract we have written a lot of good books statistical <laughs> abstract of latin america right Yes, you can find 27 volumes online, Statistical Abstract, on Amazon.com. Wow. 
Look at Tell this us one. more words, Jim. Yes, the one that's going to go. Yeah, away. let him play. No, no, no. he's just playing. As they're walking, he's moving. Oh, no, so cute. Oh, say hello, Bobby. Gaston. Yeah, let's go after him. So he enjoys it. Let him enjoy himself, honey. Well, he's stopping their walk. <laughs> They're impeding.